Uh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, please be out to adventures. How are we doing today? First thing in the morning for me, I'm just getting playing before work. Why? Because I just bought Peaky Blinders. Let's have a little bit of Peaky Blinders up north. Let's have it. I've been dying to play it. Now it's got full content, everything. So you know what? I thought I'd get it now. And it's, it's got some great people have raved after this. Well, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm just going on by the um, <laughs> all the ratings, best game, and all this kind of stuff. So I gotta keep it down a bit. It's not going to be the most loudest video. You've got to bear in mind it's like half seven in the morning. My neighbours will not appreciate it. But I don't care. I want to play. Shh. Right. Look at this. I've got to turn blinders off. Game assist off, definitely. Movement. Wait a minute. Big net. Off. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Details all right. Shit, everything's all right. I forgot to pick up the tobacco. Teleport. Cool. Head up, Samai. Been all night there. Bear with me. Turn him a volume up. Jow into the funeral, you know. Okay, forgetting you don't talk. Gloves. Oh. So we're looking at this thing. Oh, I'm in a truck. Yeah, listen to that racket. Yeah, listen to that racket. Listen to that racket, eh? Hey. That racket. Stolen. Right, tell me, Lawrence. Can't get caught in the distance between the back of the shell beans, babe. Oh, check oh, this out. Prison, and you be put to death. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I mean, obviously, it's an old gangster film, or a gangster game. <coughs> but yeah, let's. Peaky Blinders, right. let's do this. Here we are. <sighs> Welcome back to Small Heap. Shelby's in charge now. Shelby? You've convinced him to give you a chance. You've got to take it. The deserter's got no other choice. Still, you better look the part. Ever washing that sink? Grab some clean overalls from that locker. Oh, I'm sick. Excuse me, people. You'll have to bear with me. I've got a bit of a tickly cough, so I do apologise in advance. Oh shit! Look at the time. I've got to let the Shelby's overseer now. I'm here. You're not the only bit of business I've had to handle today. Well, if the van doors open, close them, would you? Then, meet me outside. 
Listen. Oh man, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Collectors, oh you got cars to find? Okay, okay. Oh, I've got to go to work at 10, man. Well, I've got to be at work for 10. <laughs> I've got 10 to... <laughs> Open garage doors. Oh, man, he's a gangster. He's a gangster. Oh, he's that street. I've watched Peaky Blinders, you see. Well, apart from last series, I kind of didn't watch it all. Take this note. It's from Arthur. Take this note. It's from Arthur. Anyway, I'll best start packing these. Sam Jill is under protection of our protection and not to be touched by order of peaky blinders. Exit the uh, go to the garrison. Garrison! Uh, uh, which way? Well, I think that's blocked, so we do want to be this way then. Thanks for the lift, love. Ah, check this out! I've got to stop that snap turning out, just bear with. It's too much of an angle. That's better. Oh, look, he's got the credits going up. Oh, man, this is the start of the game. <laughs> this is sick. This sick. This is the start of Peaky Blind, isn't it? Isn't it? Ain't it? The garrison. No, you're in a bad, bad band. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm feeling pumped up. I haven't done nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, so let me make sure that my choice pad switched off on the recording and everything. Bear with me one second. Right, I right, check Come out the pub. Here. I've seen this so much in the TV shows. Hi, right, Mr. Shelby himself. Hey, up, John. Well, time's not been kind to you, eh? You still smoke? Why not? What's it been? Ten years? More? Still can't talk after all this time. It's got a dollar to you. really did a number on you, didn't I? <sighs> But compared to your old man, that was a fucking dream. We were just kids. I actually feel like I'm fucking sick. And now I've got Arthur in the air saying, give him a chance. Have a read of this. Churchill's place was run last night. Got oh, away with the king's sick. ransom. Jewelry, fine china, family heirlooms. The Churchill far more worried about this. This was stolen from his nightstand as he slept. Looks like a briefcase, but well, it's not. It's Churchill's dispatch box, stuffed with government secrets. Now, God forbid it falls into the wrong hands, which is where we come in. Have a seat. We'll talk business. A toast. To old Sick, friends. Mark. Sick man. The documents in that red box. Name every British undercover agent. Worldwide. Oh my god. Got it could blow the lid off the empire. Start a new war. Oh my god. Oh my god. So Churchill's asked me. What's going on here? He gets it back. And he will reward the Shelby Company handsomely for his troubles. 
Luckily, I was home to locate it. My man in London was due to deliver it. It goes down as well. It goes down as well. No one's seen her and I heard him since. Alright, brother. What are you saying? Now I need a trustworthy soldier to go down there and find the truth. I normally ask my brother. Oh, you flicked the eyes. Not a butcher. You won't just be that man when I've seen your war record. Have a read. Paints a grim picture. But I can change that. Now, Arthur. He remembers what you did for him back in the old day. But I'm not Arthur. How do I know you're anything but a traitor? Who's got this coming to him? Don't shoot! I'm still buzzing off of all this, mate. I'm not convinced just yet. I ain't hear anything you said. Robert Hammer's man betrayed me. He's in there. Take care of <coughs> him. Job's yours. I'll see to it your name is cleared. Can't see Polly at the batting shop. Give her this. Or we can just fuck off. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, I gotta go kill a man. We'll finish his drink. I've got to have a drink before I go kill this guy. You know what? Oh, 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 Fucking gun! Fucking gun! Ah, oh, cigarettes to collect as well. Oh, I could have done him with an hammer. Okay. Goldman was been talking to Blukovich a few nights before they were found outside Charlie's yard. Whatever he told them was enough to convince them they could hide. You know, I tell it to me, and all that's paid the price. Tommy, I'm not in the habit of employing traitors or fools, but Silas, Silas was both loose lips, takes lives just as easily as bullets. My apologies, deal with him as you see fit. My give my regards to Polly. Abraham Gold. Did some digging on Silas like you asked, not many, not much to say. He's like every woman, uh, every woman these days, poor, lonely, not many prospects. No family to speak of either, easier to see why he signed up with the Abraham. Got another card. Yeah, man. And. Where does one put ammo? I might figure it out, I don't know. I've got a knife. Okay, enough. Let's have a look at that pup then, eh? The galley soon. Let's have a look over here. Knocky knock. Now my time. Right, I think we're done in here, fella.
Those commie pricks upset my crates, then ran off behind the pub. They say they're for the workers, but they've cost me a day's work. Guess I've got to deal with some people behind the pub. Oi! That way! Shut up! You the one who just went into the garrison. I've locked these commies out. Nothing more you can do here, lad. If you want to keep ordering small leaf, just do whatever Tommy's asked. Down there, obviously. Check it out, Birmingham. Birmingham. Can't get to it right, so it's not this way. Can't go through there. I'm making it really difficult, I bet it's something so simple. Teleport. Duh. You lad, you working for Shelburne? He's got a stranglehold and small beef. He's ain't the only way. If we work as unite, we can change things. Take this pamphlet, open your eyes. Well done, comrade. Have a look around in here. Okay, okay. Cobble Street, man. I've got these where I live. Now, mate, over here. All right. Oh, I've had enough to hear with some of these windows. Up to here. Or to ya? Bloody roads. Or to ya? I don't make my deliveries. Tommy won't pay me. There's pay ways I. and means to get across a message, you know. I'll take it, Tommy Shelby's giving you a job then. Just be careful. What happened to your mother was hard enough. After she died, I took over the barge. Started running her deliveries. And... Taylor. You want it at the betting shop? Give me a moment with my nephew, will ya? You come now. I ain't seen him for ten years. We was just... Now! All right. Sammy, you better go. I'll catch you up as soon as I can. And they to speak to my auntie like that again? Just Slap watch you. yourself, aye? Not bad.
bear with me people, you can cut all this obviously. You don't have to watch me going around like I don't know what I'm doing. Because I don't, well these are dollars, have a look at this. No. Check a map or something. I've got a journal on the map. So what are we learning? I guess I'm going through that work. Oh, it's confused me, on it? Because these came out of there. Is it? I don't know. What's going on? Do I just simply walk through? Maria, you can avoid the demonstrators this way. Proper bright spark out of people. Proper bright spark. It's first thing get morning, alright. Duh. Objectives updated. Go to the betting shop. <laughs> proper street, proper, proper, honestly. What's your business? If you've got authorization, show me. Give me your authorization or piss off. Oh, grabbing an item from the journal. Item. No. I'll need your gun before you go in. Oh, check it out, man. Like a proper old person's room. I'll be messing up a yard. you were coming. Got back early especially. Had those Winter's children didn't give you any trouble. Bastards just got three of our boys at Charlie's yard. Anyway, let me get you some tea. Check this out, man. We missed you at your mother's funeral. Poor flowers. She stayed true. Even when the smuggling operation went bad. Not so different from what could have happened to you on the battlefield. 
still. Desertion might not make you a coward, but it does make you a liability. So be careful while you're working for us. What's Tommy got you doing? He's sending you to Limehouse. The Tongs run that place, and they are ruthless. Rowena won't be happy about this. She's only just got you back. Maybe she should take you to London. On her barge. It'll be safer. The Winter's children will be watching the roads. Did you hear that noise? None of our boys should be up there. Take this key, Sammy. Open the door to the betting shop, I'll cover you. I'm covering you. Open it. Cutters in one of these drawers. Your time is over. Oh, you got them. This one's a coward. Good. Now to fuse the rest. I swear. Up, Get down, Sammy. Check the whole shop. Capitalism's made him shop. For God's sake, oh. stop that bomb. Did you know to defuse bombs in the army? I did. Will you chill out? You're making it stressful. Your time is over. Tommy, stop that bomb oh, now. For, for. Come on, it's me. I'm controlled. They're all over the place. Winter's children have taken a special interest in Shelby business. Bolshevik idiots think destroying us will fix the whole country. I'd love to know who they think will take our place. Still, not for you to worry about. You need to go to Limehouse. 
and get us that red box. There's some things that'll help you in the lock box in Tommy's office. Such not a life is a stick. You in yeah. I hope you find the last boy we sent there. Will Sullivan. Good lad. Even if he had his head in the clouds. Anyway, here's the key for the lockbox. Cheers, Paul. Gotta stop dropping things like that. I dropped it. Where's the key now? Say to our boys, Minter's children would have caught them by surprise. Ah, oh, some small noise. No, oh, fucking drop it again. What's this for? It's money, I want it. this morning oh it just happened so quickly one moment lad Sammy I've sent a soldier ahead to tell Arthur what happened here he'll want to see you but first Turns out the Winter's children had a hideout across the street. Go in, see if they left anything behind and bring it here. You've always had sharp eyes. Right, so obviously it's there then. Are you the one Arthur was talking about? Thinking about them watching us gives me the creeps. Is this the high now?
What do you know? Tell me though. Let's cut me here then. It's not much of a hideout if it is a hideout. Was that door one open before? Thanks, Sammy. Alright, so I've done it. Okay, okay. Er, er. Perry, mother of God. I've got more notes. If you hadn't come back to Small Heath when you did. Take this back. No good to us now. Go see Arthur at the garrison. When all this is over, we'll find you something better than... than another war. Good luck, Sam. So it must be for there. Uh... It's his voice as well. If it's not the man of the hour, I know it was right bringing you in. Still a warrior. Nice job with a traitor. Fucking got three of me out. Give me an hand with all this, would ya? Oh, King Bowles, look at this lot. It's obscene. All of this. All of it. Well, it can kiss my Birmingham heart. These Bolshevik bastards are getting more and more violent every day. A year since anyone was daft enough to attack that bed shop. Good thing you were there, old son. Right, go on. Who the fuck do these Bolsheviks think they are, eh? First the bed shop, now this! Right, all of ya! You see this? This here is property of the pinky fucking blinders. <laughs> and all of you, every one of proper you, proper them, mate. You proper showed them, Arthur. Yeah, messing with you now, you battered that cat. You saw that cat out. Surprise for those red fuckers. Right, and I'm gonna leave it there. Caught in the crossfire